three biggest deep sea mysteries. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. Number 23, Gonatus onyx, found in the deep waters of the northern Pacific Ocean from California to Japan. It's also known as the armhook squid. The females are known for holding onto their huge egg sacs for months at a time before finally hatching. Definitely some protective parenting going on there. Number 22, sea gooseberry. It catches small animals and particles with its long, sticky tentacles. Unlike most jellyfish, this one doesn't sting. Often found in Dutch waters, many will wash ashore from the North Sea. Number 21. Undersea bacteria. What could possibly live beneath the seafloor? Bacteria. When scientists drilled through crust and sediment, they discovered bacteria living 1,000 feet under the sea floor. It survived by consuming residue that was millions of years old. Number 20. The Macropina fish. Now here's a fish you can basically see right through. The Macropina's head is covered by a fluid-filled dome that is transparent. This rare fish also has barrel-shaped eyes which look up through the dome while traveling horizontally in the water. When it changes position, the eyes can be rotated forward. Number 19. Cold water corals. Coral reefs are usually found in tropical waters, but recently, cold water reefs have been discovered and research is ongoing. Now, the bad news is that they're being destroyed by trawling vessels. A cold water reef off the coast of Norway was found covering 39 square miles. Number 18, the bloop. This is a sound that's been picked up in the Pacific by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Oddly, the NOAA detected the sound at monitoring stations over 3,000 miles apart. Their conclusion that it's the sound of glacial ice breaking off isn't shared by all scientists at the NOAA, however. Some scientists think a massive marine creature is making the sound. Number 17. Big Fin Squid. It was first spotted off the Hawaiian coast in the mid-2000s and has rarely been photographed. Oh, well, with a kisser like that, you can't blame it for being camera shy, right? Including the tentacles, this squid can measure up to 16 feet long. Number 16. Underwater whirlpools. Often called an underwater tornado, these whirlpools form above deep sea vents under the right or wrong conditions, if you will. They can break off and spin around like flying saucers, carrying chemicals, heat, and various organisms across the ocean, not unlike a dandelion caught in the wind. Number 15. Hydrothermal vent worms. These creatures don't have a mouth or a digestive system, so how do they eat? They maintain a unique relationship with bacteria, which create food the worms can absorb through the use of chemicals. Number 14. Battle snails. Now that almost sounds like a video game, but these animals are so new, they actually don't have a name. The battle snail comes from the Indian Ocean and uses iron compounds formed like scales to protect itself. The US military is researching the snail to improve its own combat armor. Number 13, the tripod fish. This creature comes from the abyssal zone, which is so deep it remains in perpetual darkness. It's named for its ability to stand on its own three fins. While the fish itself is only about 14 inches long, the three long bony fins can be over a yard long. Tripod fish have both male and female reproductive organs. If it can't find a mate, it can always reproduce with itself. Number 12. The upsweep. The NOAA is always keeping an ear on the world's oceans. While most sounds have been identified, one remains difficult to understand. Known as the upsweep, it comprises narrow band upsweeping sounds that last for only a few seconds, and it's most active in spring and autumn. Number 11. Undersea crop circles. Japanese divers found this precise geometric pattern at the bottom of the sea, measuring over six feet in circumference. There was speculation that this was some sort of crop circle or something created by an unknown underwater life form, but those theories were all wet. It turns out these circles are created by male puffer fish in an effort to attract female puffers. Some guys have all the designs. Number 10. 
the Terrible Claw Lobster. This tiny creature was discovered in 2007 in the deep ocean off the Philippine coast. Hardly anything is known about them yet, except they have two different sizes of knife and claw. Now the one longer claw is actually as long as the creature's body itself. Number nine. Anglerfish. This deep sea creature is fairly well known for being a deep sea denizen, so what's its angle? The fish has an appendage growing out of its forehead that has a light on the tip. It uses this to attract prey, then devours them with its gaping mouth. Number eight. Sulphur Lake. Located on the Pacific Ring of Fire, this lake is notable for two features. It's actually located underwater, and it's made entirely of molten sulphur. This area is teeming with creatures that seem uniquely designed for this location, like crabs and shrimp. Number seven the vampire squid. This bizarre creature doesn't have fangs, but it can put on a light show. It produces its own light through spots on its side and through glowing tentacle tips. When threatened, the vampire squid will eject an ink that glows. Number six, the frilled shark. Because they've been around so long, this animal is sometimes referred to as a living fossil because it's changed so little over millions of years. Known for having a mouth filled with 300 backward-facing, trident-shaped teeth aligned in 25 rows, it can consume prey half as long as its body. It prefers depths around 4,200 feet, so it's rarely seen, but one was captured in Japan in 2007. Number five. Alaskan Whale Deaths. 30 whales beached themselves on Alaskan shores in 2015, and 29 of them were fin whales. Toxic algae was ruled out as the cause of death since no other species stranded themselves on shore. Experts believe that all the whales died at the same time, but the mystery of this mass whale death still remains unsolved. A full-fledged investigation is expected to take years to complete. Number four. Milky Seas. Sailors in the past told stories of encountering milky, glowing waters. In 1995, a British merchant ship documented that waters appeared pale and milky white. A scientist have determined that the cause of the glow is luminous bacteria. The bacteria starts lighting up in order to attract fish. Once the bacteria is ingested by the fish, the bacteria can live inside the animals. Number three. Mariana Trench Mystery Shark. Well, it's a misnomer because footage of this shark was actually taken in Sugira Bay in Japan. And estimates that it measured 60 feet long turned out to be false, as was the notion that it could be a megalodon. It's thought that this is either a six-gill shark, which can grow up to 25 feet, or a Pacific sleeper shark, which can survive at depths as low as 9,000 feet. Number two giant oarfish. This creature can reach lengths of up to 56 feet and weigh up to 600 pounds. These creatures are largely unknown, but are thought to have been the reason for many sightings of sea serpents. Living in deep waters, oarfish don't spend much time on the surface. But in 2013, two of the animals made news when they washed ashore on California beaches. Scientists think that strong currents pushed the fish towards shore, and they were battered to death by swells. Number one, colossal squids. They can grow to nearly 50 feet long with 10 arms and eyes over a foot in diameter. These deep sea dwelling creatures are the largest known invertebrates in the world. Not a whole lot is known about them, but evidence suggests they're loners and they eat an enormous quantity of large fish. The largest colossal squid ever captured really lived up to its name. It weighed almost 1,100 pounds and was caught in New Zealand in 2007. See you next week on Deep Sea Sundays. <laughs>